Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync leads from homes.com into your CRM using the Google Sheet Sync through API Nation. We're also gonna use a tool called mailparser.io, but it's super simple to set this up and it's gonna allow you to get those leads from homes.com automatically into your CRM without any importing, exporting, uploading, downloading, anything like that. They will just show up so you can start creating those deals. Along with the API Nation Sync, we're also going to be using another tool, MailParser.io. So we're going to set up MailParser.io to receive the email notification about the lead, and there's an integration there that'll put it right into a spreadsheet, which can sync it into the CRM. The first step to setting up this automation is going to be creating a spreadsheet where all your leads are going to land. So we're going to open up a page here. In the address bar, you can actually just use this helpful little shortcut it's spreadsheets dot new and if you type that in there it's just going to create a new google sheet for you automatically so there we go it just takes you to a brand new fresh google sheet and we're going to call this new leads from mail parser and then we're just going to put in header rows for information we expect from a lead so stuff like first name last name email phone message, address, city, state, zip. And anything else you think might be coming over with your leads that you're gonna want synced in eventually to your CRM. But this looks good to me. This is all the information I typically want. So now that we have this spreadsheet, we're gonna go over to mailparser.io to set up that part. Next, we're gonna to go to mailparser.io, and this is a separate tool from API Nation, but I find it's really useful. What it does is those emails you get, those lead notification emails with all the information about a lead that you get, you have them sent or you automatically forward them to an email address that mailparser is gonna give you. And mailparser is gonna be able to pull out the relevant information, the name, the message, the address, the phone, the email, all that stuff, and you can have it put into a spreadsheet. So that's what we're gonna do here. And if you go to the pricing page on MailParser, you'll see there is a free account. So that's what we would use to get started. If you're getting more than 30 leads a month or you wanna do this with other apps, then consider going up to the professional version. But just to get started, we're gonna go with the free version. And once you set it up, it's gonna look like this. Create your first inbox. So you're gonna hit this button, go ahead and name the inbox. And you can name it something as normal as leads. You can name it after the service where the leads are coming from, whatever's gonna be most helpful for you. Hit save. And there we go, it's created your email address for your inbox. And this email address, you need to do one of two things. One, you can either go to the lead service, the lead generation service, and give it this email address as a second place to send those lead notification emails. You can do that, or you can set up a rule in your inbox, your Gmail, your Outlook, whatever you're using, so that any emails you get from your lead service automatically get forwarded to this email address. Either way, those lead notification emails you're getting need to somehow get sent to this email address. That's very important. So once you go and do that, the next thing it's asking you to do is send over some examples of what kind of emails you're expecting from your lead generation service. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna copy this to clipboard. I'm gonna go over to my email inbox and forward over a couple emails. And you're gonna see it's waiting for those examples to arrive. And as soon as those examples arrive, it's gonna say, good news, we got your emails. So now you're gonna hit select and continue to set up the parsing rules. All right, and once that email has come in here, MailParser is gonna take it and it's gonna try and parse it and create a template for how to parse it. So you can see here, it's actually taken it, looked at that email, that lead from homes.com, and it's already seen, all right, we got some first name, some last name, and it actually did a pretty good job parsing it. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure, depending on what the lead looks like from homes.com when you're looking at the data that's getting extracted, that this is the kind of stuff you want. First name, last name, email, phone, message, all this stuff. But this looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this template. It asks for a category. I don't need one necessarily. If I put in the real estate category, it might try and match it to something, and there's no homes.com template currently in mail parser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the default. That's it, the template is now set up so that it's gonna pull the information you want from those homes.com emails. I can just hit okay. 
and it's gonna go ahead and start parsing those emails. Again, make sure you're forwarding the emails from homes.com to that mail parser inbox email address, or you've set up a rule in your email inbox to forward it to that mail parser inbox. So while it's parsing these emails, now we're gonna set up this inbox so that it sends all the information it parses into a Google Sheet. So to do that, I'm gonna hit integrations, and then we're gonna click new integrations, and Mail Parser gives you a lot of good options here as far as integrating, including a webhook, a generic webhook, which we have a separate video if you want to connect Mail Parser to uh, your app using a generic webhook. Super helpful if your app doesn't have a connection to Google Sheets like some of these CRMs. But we're going to use Google Sheets because API Nation does connect to a lot of CRMs using Google Sheets. So I'm going to use this Google Sheet integration. And these are set up per inbox. So only this one inbox is gonna get this integration. If you have multiple inboxes for different lead sources, maybe you have Realtor CA, maybe you have Hop City, maybe you have another one, all different inboxes, you're gonna to need to set up different integration for each of those inboxes. So let me just do this for this one. You can choose your Google account. I've connected Gabe at API Nation. If I haven't, I would hit add account and go ahead and sign in, but I've connected in the past, so it's just gonna serve it up. All right, the app is now connected. It's refreshed the page with that connection and it's asking me to choose the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna hit this drop down, and we're looking for this spreadsheet we created at the beginning, new leads from mail parser. So I'm gonna click on the drop down, and this is alphabetical. So I'm just gonna scroll down to N for new L M N. There it is, new leads from mail parser. So I'm gonna click on that. And then it's gonna ask for the worksheet, which is just gonna be the first page because that's where we created it. Sheet one, I choose it automatically, great. Last thing to do here to make this connection is the field mapping. These are the columns in Google Sheets we created earlier, and it's gonna offer us some stuff from the email. So we're gonna put first name there. We're gonna see if there's a last name. It doesn't look like there is a last name with this lead. So we're gonna skip that. We're gonna put in email. We're gonna put in phone. We're gonna put in message, and just go through and map this up. Super easy. There we go, state and zip. And again, if you're getting additional information with your leads that you want added in here, just be sure to create columns in your spreadsheet for that information. So if it's something like second email address, second phone number, um, buyer, seller, any of that information, just make a column for it, name it something you're gonna understand, and then when you go through and do the mapping in Mail Parser, it's gonna offer it to you and you can just map it up with the stuff it's pulling out of the email. That's it, I'm gonna hit save and test. It's gonna send over that lead into my Google Sheet. Send test data, great. There we go, looks like it worked. So now my Mail Parser inbox is taking every lead I send to it and putting it in a Google Sheet. That's great, awesome to have that backed up. All right, and finally the last step is to set up a sync so that the information from that Google Sheet is getting synced into your CRM. So we're gonna to go to API Nation. You can go to apination.com and click on Start Syncing. It's gonna show you all these apps you can automate and connect. I'm gonna go down here to Google Sheets, click on that, and it's gonna show me all the stuff I can sync that Google Sheet full of leads into. So you're gonna find your CRM on here, whether it's Boomtown, Brevity, Lofty, high level kv core kw command any of these you can set it up so that the leads are going right into your crm i'm going to go ahead and choose google contacts and pretend that's a crm for now so let's go ahead and use that it's going to look the exact same if you do google contacts or if you do your crm so i'm going to say i want to sync information from that google sheet into my crm in this case google contacts so you're gonna activate that sync, the one going from Google Sheets into Google Contacts. The first step is to sign into your API Nation account here if you don't have one. You can click here and create one, or you can sign in with Google and go ahead and do that. Next, you're gonna connect your Google Sheets account. All you have to do there is hit the big connect button. It's gonna show you your Google account. And make sure you select the one the Google Sheet from Mail Parser is getting synced to. Next, you're gonna to connect to your CRM. I have Google Contacts, so I'm just gonna hit connect. It's, it's gonna be really similar for all the CRMs. You're probably gonna hit connect 
sign into your CRM and that makes the connection. In some instances, you might need to grab an API key from the settings of your CRM. We have all the information on how to do that when you connect that CRM. All right, now we're just gonna set up this sync from that Google Sheet where Merrill Parser is putting our lead information from homes.com into our CRM. So I need that spreadsheet URL. So remember that spreadsheet we created at the beginning. I'm gonna go back there, grab the URL, and go back to API Nation and paste it in there. And now anything that gets added to that spreadsheet is gonna get added to my CRM. Here, there's usually some options about how exactly you wanna put it into your CRM, whether you wanna put it as a lead or a contact, whether you wanna mark it as new, all that kind of stuff. It depends on what CRM you're using, what options you'll have. For example, in Google Contacts, I can label it different labels. I'm gonna just leave it default. And then the final thing you're gonna consider is if the contact already exists in your CRM, should you overwrite the information or should you just fill in the blanks? It's pretty unlikely if you're getting leads from homes.com that you're getting leads of people you already have, but it's up to you. You can go ahead and click this and say, don't override it, just fill in any blank fields. Or you can unclick it and say, you know what, if they're coming from homes.com, maybe they're the freshest information about my client, so go ahead and override it. Once you hit that button at the bottom, it's gonna actually create the sync. So this is the actual sync you're looking at. This is the big button to activate it. I can just hit this and it'll start syncing. I wanna show you a couple more things though. This is the settings. We're in the settings currently. If you wanna come back, you can look at the logs and see what the sync is doing. You can just click on that and see the logs. You can see nothing's happened yet. Here's all the information we set up at the beginning. So if you wanna change any of that stuff, you can, maybe you, maybe you decide you do wanna start overriding information. Maybe you decide you actually want to not override information. You can come back in here and check this box. Final things, you can see there's a filter here. If you want to filter any of the stuff coming from that sync, you can. So you can see here's the fields that are coming over from that spreadsheet. You can just choose a field and say, you know what? I only want people who are coming from a certain zip code. You can do that if you want. Zip contains 92130, something like that. And then finally, we're gonna map everything up here. So you can see it hasn't mapped much up. I'm gonna go ahead and start mapping it up here. I definitely need a phone and an email, so I'm gonna hit the plus sign. Search for phone, there it is. Hit another plus sign, find email, grab that first name, grab that last name. And then I think there's a message, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in notes. And actually it looks like it pulled over the information for the address, which is nice. So let's put the street address in here, there we go. And in notes, I'm gonna put that message. So there we go, we have all the information. We're gonna sync over from that spreadsheet and this stuff is gonna always come over when I want it, how I want it. So this looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and activate that sync. And that's it, the sync is now running and it's gonna keep running. You don't have to come back here and hit a button push a refresh button, push a fetch button, anything like that. It's just gonna automatically fire, keeping an eye on that spreadsheet that is getting populated by mail parser, which is taking those homes.com emails and filling them onto that spreadsheet. It's a lot going on behind the scenes, but it's all automated. So from your point of view, a lead comes in from homes.com, you open your CRM, there it is. You can go to work, start creating those deals. So that's it, that's how you get those homes.com leads right into your CRM automatically. You don't have to upload, download, do any of that stuff. They just sync using the Google Sheets sync through API Nation and that millparser.io tool. If you have any questions or need any assistance setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation and we're connecting the world's applications.